Philip Armour was born May 16, 1832, in Stockbridge, New York. Armour went to district schools. Armour went to the Casanova Academy. He never finished, though, because he dropped out. At the age of 19, Philip Armour moved to California to become a miner. He later became a contractor, digging water ditches and selling water to miners. In 1858, after earning $6,000, Philip returned back to New York to go home and help out his family on the family farm. Soon after arriving back in New York, Philip created hog packing centers in both Cincinnati and Milwaukee. Meat packing was an industry that started in the winter right after the first frost. The animals would first be killed and then prepared and packaged for shipment to local markets. Later, Armour teamed up with Frederick Miles and Plankton. They supplied the meat for the Northern Armies in the Civil War. In 1875, Armour built the center of his meatpacking industry in Chicago. His brothers ran smaller ones in Kansas City and New York. Armour not only started the beginning of meat packaging, but also helped build new technology like the conveyor belt system and the refrigerated railroad cars. He also introduced the use of animal byproducts in canned beef. Armour gave tons of money in the creation of low-cost housing for his workers. He also established the Armour Institute of Technology and a preparatory scientific academy. At the age of 69, Philip Armour died of pneumonia on January 6, 1901. He was laid to rest at the Graceland Cemetery in Chicago, Illinois. Armour's way of packaging meat is still used today in the United States in preserving meats for long periods of time. Hot dogs, armor hot dogs. What kinds of kids eat armor hot dogs? Fat kids, skinny kids, kids who climb on rocks. Tall kids, sissy kids. Even kids with chicken pox love hot dogs. On the old banjo, put on the mustard and away we go. When they like dogs, they still say hey. But when kids fight dogs, they yell. Hooray for hot